Hello you beautiful people from YouTube. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to draw water droplets. So the first thing you want to do is grab a graphite pencil and go ahead and do a very light outline of each of the shapes that you want them to come out to. Then you want to find the light source and always keep the light source aimed the opposite of which way the light would actually be coming from. So if the light is coming from the top left of the, the screen and it's shooting down to the bottom right of the screen, put it on the bottom of every droplet in the way that it would shine through. I use a General's White Charcoal pencil and I do it really heavy, uh, very heavy white around the edges on the bottom and then I put two little dots or a dot coming from the main light source, the beam through to show the reflection. The second thing I grab my graphite pencil and I go across with shadows. I add the shadows around the borders, not completely or entirely around the, the uh, shape of the droplets but I do it around the bottoms, exactly where the shadow would start casting. So then I go ahead and I grab my blending tool. I blend the graphite, pulling it the, uh, to the bottom right corner of each of those droplets because my light source is going to be from the top left. I want my shadows to be aimed going towards the bottom right, giving it the illusion that it's actually popping off the paper, but we all know it's definitely not. But it still looks really cool. I sometimes use my kneaded eraser to go ahead and clean up some of the extra little spots that maybe make it look more uh, transparent. I go ahead and I'm over here just darkening it up and then like just how I said before in the bottom right of the water droplets since the light source will be coming from the left I want to add the, the shadow casting also on the left side now so on the left side of your droplets put a darker color or uh, blend it darker with your graphite and then on the right side of your things um, add more of the white texture to it so that's all I'm doing I'm pretty much using whatever was left on the end of that blending tool and then I'm using the uh, light source to have it beam through a little bit with the white charcoal. And I'm just making sure that this is how it is. I'm using the actual reverse end of that blending tool to kind of smear out because white or charcoal can be a little rough sometimes. So I like to smooth out and make it look more uh, organic. But thank you guys for watching this video. And that's me just kind of cleaning it up and I decided to add a little bit of shadow to make it look like it's really dripping off the page. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check me out on Instagram. Peace!